Hey guys, welcome back to Karina MD. Today, I'm just gonna show you a quick little video of how I do green seasoning. If you watch me season chicken or fish or whatever, um, you've seen me use it. I actually learned how to do this a couple years ago at my first kitchen job when I went on job experience at NCB Food Services. Big up everybody at NCB Food Services, okay? Um, yeah, and when I went and saw them blend up the season, I said, this, this change your life. This change your food taste. Worse if it's easier from overnight time here or something. So just stick around. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow Prolific Apparel 2020 on Instagram for the good t-shirt and a good hoodie them and beer something something. You can also follow me on my personal page at Karin2093. So stick around. I'm also going to show you how to do some green Caesar for change your life. Okay? Here we have some onion some green onion or a scallion scallion some pimento berries or allspice berries we have some scotch bonnet pepper some garlic and some thyme you just want to take off the thyme off the stalk you don't want the entire big stalk the little ones like these are fine so you just i'll show you how to do this again you turn it the opposite way and push push forward and it just come off like that so for this video you will need a um, blender or food processor I'm using my Nutribullet that my dear friend Jojo got me for my birthday from when 20 for a long time and it's still a go yeah it's my favorite it's like my favorite um, kitchen um, equipment so adding some onions or garlic if you are not a big fan of the heat you can cut and remove the peppers everybody in my house love pepper so well except okay but we'll also do so do so some pimento berries here our time I love my herbs so I'm put all that in there And or scallion, and then we're just going to take some olive oil. So, just a little olive oil, we don't need a lot. Pop that onto our food, I mean, Nutribullet. Oh lord, I have a food processor, but it's a lot of work. guys quick tip if you notice that you start blending at first and nothing is happening as long as your mixer doesn't or your blender or whatever you're using doesn't sound like it's breaking or falling apart just wait for a minute because sometimes it's just the bottom particles just getting all um mushed out that's not even a word Kareem, but whatever yeah so you see how it start to go now There you have it guys this is our a lot of people like theirs a bit more chunky I like mine smooth what is this I'm gonna pop this on sometimes everything don't get blended out but it is what it is I like mine smooth and you can store this in the fridge for a couple days to a week max and I mean if you're cooking you just have to gauge how much you are making and because you know how much you cook and I just store it in these little glass containers. You could get them over Dollarama or Home Sense or somewhere like that, you know. And that's our blended seasoning. You can pop this onto anything. For me, I when I'm making fried chicken, I omit the garlic and the onion just because. And that's just what I was taught. If you want to go ahead and do it, you can do it. Um, it makes the fried chicken burn faster. But that's because we were like cooking a mass amount of fried chicken where I was working, right? So. For home purposes, you can pop it on, like use the same recipe that we're using now. So guys, here you have it, or green seasoning. 
Look at that. Look at that.